so I finished my back side of the bag too and as EQ as as you can sorry as you can see I have three more uh, bubbles sets or three more uh, six more uh, rows added okay and I have my front side which is uh, shorter and my back side which is longer because with the back side I have to it's like a flap okay that will be put over the first the front side to close the bag and I will put some um, a gr huge button here I think I have it it's something in, it's a wooden button it's not here no it's not I have to search it okay and then of course I will be show I I, I uh, will uh, show you the bottom but okay you can choose any kind of bottom you, you want to for your back and these are the two parts now the third and the last part for your bag is the bottom part the bottom part because the bag will be like this the bottom the sides and the handle and it consists in a long 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 strap worked with the same pattern so exactly the same but you you'll have only four bubbles instead of eight bubbles and you have to begin with 20 chains instead of 36 and then you have to work the same pattern actually the same pattern that's why I worked it and off the camera because it's the same thing it looks as a very very long scarf and it would be really nice as a very very long scarf too I really put it around my neck and <laughs> it looks great I must say but uh, we need it for the so to finish our bag so okay it can be a nice idea for uh, for a a future scarf to do okay now maybe with a thinner no not maybe but I'm sure with a thinner yarn maybe a wool yarn because it I don't know as a scarf it's it's mm, more uh, beautiful to be to be soft and okay soft yes and uh, that's why I think instead of cotton yarn we can use a wool very thin lace wool yarn maybe alpaca okay but now we want to finish the scarf the scarf yes the scarf we want to finish our bag so for this long long stripe you will need I said a chain of 20 and as you can see there will be four bubbles into the first two the sequence of the first two um, rows so the row with the shells and the row with the cluster which um, which create uh, creates our bubbles and for the second sequence so for the row three or and four we'll have three entire bubbles and the one split in two as I said okay for the bag the back side and front side uh, we worked eight I worked eight entire bubbles and seven with one split okay for the stripe we we have four entire bubbles and three plus one split okay now um, 20 chains and the same thing so you will repeat the same pattern you will you will work the first shell into your sixth chain from the hook 
as we did here with the uh, bag and you will go on with the pattern so that's why I I, um, I didn't work it, work it uh, on the camera because it's the same thing and I don't want to make very very long tutorial because it's an easy project you must understand this it's really really easy okay now um, you must work 96 92 sorry 92 rows or 92 rows or 40 46 bubbles sequences Bub a bubble sequence means two rows okay so the shell row and the cluster row and there are two rows that composed a bubbles so 46 bubbles sequences or uh, 92 uh, rows of the pattern okay so when you finish these three parts of the bag you are almost ready with your bag it's really easy why it's easy because you can um, stay um, I don't know comfortable uh, and watch TV meanwhile you you work your bag because the pattern is really easy and you have these three components that are really easy to make and it's just a square, a rectangle for the back side and a long stripe for to, to join all together. Okay, so really, really easy. Now that you have all the information that you need to complete your front part, back part and the stripe, I just want to show you when you are ready how to compose your bag. So... First of all, you will want to uh, sew the front, the the two uh, the two parts here of your stripe, okay? Like this. So leave a long tail when you finish your last row because we want to sew together the two ends of the stripe okay like this now just sew it together of course if possible with the back side facing you so we have the front side of the the two ends mm, facing each other <laughs> Okay, I don't know how to how to say it, by, uh, but um, you can see what we have here. Okay, okay, okay. Now just don't twist it when you work it, when you sew it. So please, please don't twist it. Just put it like this. Okay. I have here my sewing needle. Okay, so don't twist it. I have all on the back side, on the wrong side, sorry. And now I just want to sew it like this. Okay, sew it well. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. It's from here that I have to begin <laughs> because I have here my my yarn. I don't know what am I doing. Okay, again. Like this. Come on. And we just want to sew it. Hope it's okay. Yes, it's okay. So control that. Okay, I think you don't see because the color is really a darkened color so but it's just the two borders just want to sew them together so I will sew them, sew them together and then I will be back to show you how to sew uh, all the bag 
the, the stripe actually around the back, around the front side and the back side. Okay, now let us begin to compose, to sew the uh, back together. So we need, first of all, for the first step, we need the um, front part only of the bag. So put it like this. And now with the uh, stripe, you see we have eight bubbles. Now we have to count eight bubbles here too, even if here are horizontally and here are vertically, but it's okay. So put the stripe like this. If you have the same color, so it's easier because there is no need. But mm, I don't know, maybe it's better to actually put the, the um, part where you sew the, the two ends of the stripe here on the bottom part of the, of the bag. Okay, so now we need four and four. Okay, here is the uh, part that we sew of the, of the stripe. Four and four, so actually we need eight. We have eight bubbles here, so we need eight bubbles here. Okay, when you have your eight bubbles here and here, and they are all aligned for good, now to sew them, of course, you want to sew them on the back side, so you just have to turn it like this. And with this kind of needles, uh, I don't know the name of these needles, so please, please help me. <laughs> please help me and uh, uh, write, uh, write me in your comments under the, this tutorial the name of these kind of needles. Okay, thank you. And we just want to put it here. Okay, and here another one at the end. And now we are sure that uh, our bottom part of the bag is firmly. stop with these two and we can begin to sew together this part. So this is the first step, okay? We just go uh, step by step with uh, composing the, the bag because I just want you to understand all the, all the steps. As I said, it's really a, re a really a, a easy project but maybe there are some parts that seems to be difficult but they are not okay now I will sew this part of the camera of course and then I will be back so this is the bottom part the front bottom part okay so I will sew the stripe to the front bottom part of the bag and I will be back to show you how to continue on uh, sewing so here I am I sewed together my first part, so the bottom of the front side of the bag, the bag and the stripe here, as you can see. And now what I want to do, I will turn it like this. What I want to do is to sew, oops, like this, is to sew the parts, the sides. So this is the left side, this is the bottom part of my bag and this is the upper part of my bag and of course we want to put it with the uh, uh, right side facing us okay with the right side facing us because like this we will re, um, succeed in uh, sewing all on the wrong side as you can see okay so now I want to count I have nine rows of bubbles 18 rows of pattern but as I said because it's easier I count the bubbles nine rounds so I will count here too from the first bubble that is not sewed on the bottom so this one one two three four five six seven eight nine and I will put it like this with the wrong side facing us and Keep it firmly with this kind of needle. Okay, 
and now I want to sew this part side left side of the bag and then I will make the same thing with the right side so I will put it like this now I want to keep it firmly and I am ready to sew my parts on the uh, of the front side as, as you can see our bag comes comes together okay now let me sew the sides the left side and the so the left side and the right side here and then I will be back to show you how to put the the back side of the bag so the rectangle okay so I finished to sew all the front side okay we have to work so this is very very important we have to sew it on the wrong side always on the wrong side so when we finish when we put the actually it's the next step to put the the rectangle so the back side we will put it with the wrong side facing us and we will we want to actually can you see so just I will put it like this now just to show you a little bit the shape now the shape it's more or less it's uh, now you can just figure out Okay, isn't it beautiful? So sweet! Full of bubbles! <laughs> I cannot help myself. It's really, it's that I like it. Okay, now, uh, what we want to do is the same thing. So, first of all, we will sew the button. Can you see? With the wrong face facing us. And the stripe too. So, it's with the wrong... Okay, like this. Now, we count again the same eight, the same eight for the bottom, of course. So here I am, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I will put here a needle to keep it firmly this and on the other side and this will be the first part that I will sew for the back side of the bag okay the bottom part then the sides for the sides now I want to sew on the stripe so to the stripe the same number of rows that I sew for the front side. So we will left unsewed, so free uh, the three bubbles rows or six rows actually that we put uh, added of the uh, for the rectangle, so to create the rectangle because this is the flap that we uh, will be put over the front side to close the bag okay so now we want to count one two three four five six seven eight nine because we have nine bubbles and nine here too from the one two three four five six seven eight and nine so this is the very important part when you sew the back side To let free the part that you add to create the rectangle so the part that we need for the for the um, to close the the bag okay so um, one two three four five six seven eight and nine and here the same thing one two three four five six seven eight nine so it's here that I will put this one and now all I have to do 
and can you see the flap is free now all I have to do is to sew the part I will begin with begin sorry with the bottom part then with the sides and then I will be back to show you the result of course and the last part is to put the bottom and the, the li linen 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 so I finished to sew the back part and as I sew it all together, I have it upside down. Inside out, sorry. And now I want to turn it and to see the right face. So it's like this. Look, my bag is ready. This is the flap. And all that we want is to put a nice uh, bottom here in the middle. We know that we have four and four on the four on the right side, so it will be, I think, into the third round of the bubbles that I will put one, two, three, four, four here. Yes, somewhere and I just want to show you that on the flap I will uh, I want to crochet a single crochet uh, row round row okay all around the flap and here to make the bottom hole and actually my bag it's uh, almost ready because I need the liner for the lining and yes then my bag is ready so as you can see it's really 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 easy and so nice I don't know I really like this uh, this bag because it's as I said it's uh, really comfortable and yes nice bag okay now, uh, yes, I have to put this single crochet and then the last step is the lining. <laughs> 